A lot of games can be described as Kafka-esque, but the new game Metamorphosis has a leg up on the competition. In fact, it has six legs up. This sophomore release from Polish developer Ovid Works is a loose reimagining of Franz Kafka's century-old novella about a man who turns into an insect. Yeah, that's a cool setup, but does this first-person adventure game live up to its literary potential? Or is it a bureaucratic nightmare? Let's go ahead and journey into the secret world of insects and find out. Have you ever had one of those nights where you partied so hard that you don't even remember where you are the next morning? Well, that's the least of Gregor's problems right now, because not only has he woken up in a stranger's bedroom, but he's also rapidly turning into a cockroach. Unlike Kafka's 1915 book, however, our hero isn't willing to just lay around the room and wait to be fed, so he sets out on an epic journey through the miniature and often unseemly world of talking insects. That's right, the bugs that crawl around your house speak English. They also have their own cities, stories, religions, and even social clubs. These are all things that our newly birthed cockroach learns on his way to a mythical great tower that will supposedly turn him back into being a full-sized human. But getting there is going to be tricky because not only do you have to navigate a world that was not created with tiny insects in mind, but you'll also need to file the right paperwork and make sure that he gets everything filled out properly. But hey, don't let the bureaucracy get you down, because Metamorphosis is really just a 3D platformer at heart. As a cockroach, you'll be able to use books, drawers, toys, and all kinds of everyday objects to get from one part of the level to the next. Gregor is able to not just run and jump, but also stick to the walls and ceilings for a limited amount of time. This allows him to find multiple ways to each destination, giving the player a nice sense of exploration and discovery through what could often be looked at as just a linear path. Now, I went into this game expecting a lot of platforming and a lot of puzzle solving, the two things that are part and parcel to this type of first-person adventure. What I got was a whole lot of platforming and almost no puzzle solving. Sure, you'll occasionally have to connect a cord or run a fetch quest for a fellow insect, but none of this is especially taxing, and the game has this way of always telling you where Gregor needs to go next. Every time, it looks like you'll need to go through some elaborate process to turn off a fan or get some important intel. It turns out being something really simple. You'll just have to jump on the off button or push over an apple. Easy. This is one of the reasons I found myself disappointed by Metamorphosis. I mean, I liked going on the journey with Gregor, but the emphasis on platforming made the game feel too straightforward and maybe even a little shallow. Every time it flirts with making you use your brain, there's usually something pointing you towards the right answer. And because the platforming is so effortless most of the time, I found that I was speeding through each part of the game without really appreciating what was going on. That's a shame, because there's some real interesting world building going on in Metamorphosis. There are large parts of the game that take place on the other side of the wall and floor where the insects have created their own cities and civilizations. This is where we're introduced to a number of the colorful characters, some of which will have you running different missions. This is little more than an excuse to show off the world the developers have constructed, but it's fun seeing bridges created out of matchsticks and an entire nightclub that's tucked away inside of a record player. It's a shame that the game is in such a hurry to push you towards the disappointing final act, which is largely centered around the nightmarish hellscape that is bureaucracy. I mean, it makes sense to the Kafka theme, but it takes away from the insect's world that they spent so much time trying to get us to care about. It also doesn't help that Metamorphosis looks like a mid-tier PlayStation 2 game. There are moments sprinkled in here and there that hint at a better-looking game with a more focused art direction, but so much of the insect's world is dark and ugly. You'll run into blocky characters, muddy colors, and all kinds of repeating textures and objects. If you had told me that this was a remastered port of some hidden gem from 2002, I probably would have believed you. 
but as a brand new release in 2020, Metamorphosis looks dated in all the worst ways. Now, while it's not a direct retelling, this game was clearly inspired by the works of Franz Kafka. Perhaps that's why it's so disappointing that the story and gameplay are so surface level. I mean, people are still arguing about the many interpretations of the 105 year old novella, yet this game all but spells everything out for the player. Metamorphosis is neither dark nor surreal enough to feel authentic and doesn't offer enough variety to be a compelling adventure. It's just a really big missed opportunity. With a great setup that involves a man quite literally turning into a cockroach, Metamorphosis attempts to bring the Kafka S nightmare to modern consoles. Unfortunately, by singularly focusing on 3D platforming, this ugly and linear adventure game comes across as simplistic and shallow. This is a short, repetitive, and ultimately unsatisfying journey that is just not as deep or compelling as the material it's attempting to mimic. I'm telling you, Kafka deserves better than a slightly above average 3D platformer. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite first person adventure game? Look, I have a hunch that Metroid Prime is probably going to be a popular choice, but, you know, there are actually quite a few to choose from. Who knows? Maybe somebody will say we happy few. Well, they probably won't. Either way, let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back shortly with reviews of Escape from Tethys, Skater XL, Rogue Legacy 2, and Jessica. That's Jessica with a K. Ooh, that's a pack slate, so I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.